originally from London? Yes, yes, until my family was evicted for being Catholics. Then we moved to some tiny little farm town, nothing happened, it was... I grew up here too. It was great. And even when my mom died, there was a little lot of love. We had an extensive library, and, and I taught myself Latin and wrote poetry. And once, Papa brought me to the Kit Kat Club, where I was toasted the bow of the year. Lady Mary! Because of my spinal tuberculosis, I was bedridden for most of my childhood. I left my room once, wanted to go outside, see nature. I liked rocks a lot. Rocks, eh? I read. My books were my sole companions. The other children didn't want to hang out with Gimby the Hunchback Boy. I am largely bedridden still, though with the help of my corsets, I can occasionally enjoy polite society. Oh, are you a writer? I am very fond of composing letters and the occasional piece of poetry. Oh, would I know anything of yours? I confess, many find it improper for ladies to write, though I do post anonymously under the name Lady President. Yes, it is. Tell me, do you also enjoy ruining your enemies' reputations with scathing satires? Um, sure. Oh dear, my husband is calling me. I must be off. Um, you will keep in touch, won't you? Yes, I'll write you a letter. You should come visit my home someday. It has a lovely garden. Um, yes, of course. Dear Alexander, I must apologize. I have not written for a very long time. But not because I forgot about you, of course. But because I had the box, and the spotty balls for ages. But to console myself, I wrote a humorous poem, and I feel much better. At any rate, I have since relocated to the Far East, Constantinople, and they have this funny little practice called inoculation. They give you a little prick, and they shoot you off whatever little sickness, and oh, the turbans and the exotic dances. Oh, the colors and the people are just ducky. It's fantastic. Oh, Mary, you will be mine some day. Dearest Angel, oh, how I have longed to read your words. Each day a part of the sun shone less brightly. The wind blew more coldly, and my heart grew weary. But now that you have written, I know that our love will survive any sickness and any disease. Despite your pockmarked body, I know your soul is as beautiful as ever. I ask you now... Will you allow me to see your bared soul? I breathlessly await your reply. Forever yours, Alexander. <laughs>